What is Gaben? Who kind of video is this? Plenty of heroes, but it has very few gods. It takes esports has plenty of heroes, but it has very few gods. It takes a lot to become a god. One of Japan's five fighting game gods. Some gods Never arrive forget, from far away. He's the god. The op god. They were simply referred to as gods. S4 is uh, the god of Dota. Okay, so that might have been a stretch, but what isn't is how one man became a meme and transcending it became an object of adoration an answerer to prayers everywhere. I'm talking about our Lord. LMG, mounted and loaded! No, not Tachanka, but Gaben. Gaben Lord is Savior. the co-founder and CEO of Valve, the developer and publisher behind renowned games like Half-Life, <laughs> Counter-Strike, Dota 2, <laughs> Team Fortress 2, and Left 4 Dead. Newell went to Harvard for three years, but he dropped did. out to work for a little company called Microsoft known for its operating systems and lit launch parties. After 13 years there, okay. Newell went on to found <laughs> Valve Software Jeez, with it's... his former Microsoft colleague, <laughs> yeah, Mike yeah, Aaron. That's all one and over the jam. next decade, the company would become one of the <laughs> biggest players in PC gaming. But as Valve continued to release both sequels to existing series and new games, it also branched into digital game distribution with Steam, a platform that would be used for selling not only Valve's games, but eventually ones made by other developers too. With the incredible commercial success of Valve, Stunks. Newell became one of the video game industry's richest people, with a current net worth estimated by Forbes at nearly $4 billion. Show me the money. But if Gabe Newell was just an executive, Wait, that's, how that's how it's worth dollars. Current net worth, the video game industry's richest people, with a current net worth estimated by Forbes at nearly four billion. Oh, that's his own rich. Show me the money. But if Gabe Newell was just an executive, we probably way more. wouldn't be covering him in the series. Instead, his quirky personality and unique interests have endeared him to gamers all around the world. My was so three why weeks is ago, that? This shit is well, for starters, he has rage. more knives than fucking Rambo. He isn't afraid to be himself. You know, there are like 350 million PCs sold last year. So the economies of scale are tremendous. So you get great value for your money. I don't know. They're great. I have like 12 of them. And most importantly, <laughs> he doesn't take himself too seriously. Gaben is clearly one of us, someone who likes video games and isn't afraid to own it. But how did he ascend to meme godhood? Well, Newell's transformation into <laughs> Gaben or Lord Gaben began in the late 2000s when XQC Team Fortress 2 L. released with a developer commentary this, this mode is featuring the man himself. Please let me know what you think after you have had a chance to play. I can be reached at Thanks Gaben at valvesoftware.com <laughs> and my favorite class is The Spy. Thanks, and have fun. So his name and email are really the source of the moniker itself, <sighs> but the meme really took off between 2010 and 2012. Gay Ben, Gay Ben, Gay Ben, Gay Ben. To stop a Gay Ben, take control, press the Gay Ben. I can be reached at Gay Ben, Gay Ben, Gay Ben, at valvesoftware.com. But perhaps the most defining image of the Gaben meme is the so-called Lord Gaben uh, yes. portrait created by Fred Dre, which was quickly remixed into the wildly popular Tonight's the Night video. And so Gaben evolved from a silly nickname into a full-blown religious cult figure. I'm pregnant with miracles. Today, with the rampant success and popularity of Steam, Gaben is often seen as a steward of PC gaming. So when a Steam sale happens, it is seen as his generous bidding. But Gaben's blessing is also a curse, it is. as the sales often cause your wallet to hemorrhage money. <laughs> Stupid! 
And let's be honest, guys, how many of you months. have actually Love completed you, every game in your Love Steam you, library? XQC. Could I get to XQCL? <laughs> Good one. Another aspect of Gaben's mystical nature is an aversion to the number three. Anyhow, thank you very much. I have a light flashing at me telling me that I don't get to answer the third question. Three, three, three. <laughs> the line is triple kill. Triple three, as in you've killed three heroes. You've killed more than two people and less than four. <laughs> This is because, so far, Valve hasn't made a game in a series that was numbered as the third game. Half-Life 2, Episode 3. Yo, you're nuts, nah, dude! Thanks for the pretty sound, actually. Thank you so much, man. Nope. Team Fortress 3? Keep dreaming. Half-Life 3? It's pretty good. It's not even good, isn't it? But how has Gabe been thinking of his fame finishing. and newfound divinity? Hilariously well, actually. While he might be worth billions, you get the sense that Gaben is still one of us. This is perhaps most apparent when a couple of my Canadian countrymen journeyed to Valve's office in Bellevue, Washington to protest the lack of a Half-Life 2 Episode 3 release. You know, we thought it was awesome. We wanted them to stay. Uh, so, you know, we took them pizza and they'd only brought two sodas and they're planning on being there for two days. So uh, we got them stuff to drink. They're very nice, you know. Uh, That's cool. Very passionate about our games. But despite his general benevolence, Lord Gaben has shown that he can be a vengeful god too. And it would be a mistake for us Smart. to not mention his involvement in the James is an ass controversy of 2016. During the absolute shit show that was the Shanghai Major, <laughs> James <laughs> Too Good Harding, the event's desk host, caught Gaben's attention for his off color on air antics. I am Sir Too Good, <laughs> your host for this event. But don't worry, as always, it's not just me here to talk about the do's and don'ts of Dota 2 and the cans of cunts that the teams turned out, you know, censorship, the uh, Chinese hotel, disa <laughs> disabled pornography. Don't get me wrong, I watched it. Mr. <laughs> Wang's amazing wheelchair antics were pretty amazing. You know, I know I got the hosting gig, you know, admittedly, you know, Red Eye's a bit wiser and I'm not as hands-on as I think your, Lewis, name, your name was wrong. It shouldn't be Sir 2G, it should be Old 2G. Thank you. Oh, old 2G. <laughs> you can fuck off, uh, Winter. Gaben didn't find too good That's just weird, to be particularly amusing. And his Guys, that was just weird. It was an, that was just odd. His wrath would be what the swift, fuck? as Too Good would be immediately terminated and berated <laughs> shortly thereafter in a hilarious Reddit post. Gaben giveth, but Gaben also Take taketh it. away. But ever since that incident, he's only become a more popular and pronounced figure within the Dota 2 community. And year after year, Gaben continues to welcome crowds Jesus. to the International. Holy shit, dude. Continues to welcome crowds to the International, Dota's biggest <laughs> tournament. Look like not a time to turn it off. If that's not enough, he was even added to the game as an announcer in 2018. Please email me at gaben at valvesoftware.com and let me know about your rampage. Gaben is the Lord. <laughs> because he blesses us, our Steam libraries runneth over. And if you pray really hard, something on your wish list might go on sale. Or maybe your next case will have a knife in it, a sure sign of Gaben's blessing. <laughs> <laughs> Way too dank, man. Way yes, too dank. Don't hold your breath waiting for Half Life 3 because it's never gonna happen. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Sorry, just setting up the Half Life 3 announcement alarm. We have an alarm for that? We have alarms for a lot of things. Still waiting for the team. Please watch some Gordon Ramsay soon. Yeah, I'll take my chances on the Half Life 3 alarm going off first. Home Alone is not a better movie. It's not even a better comedy than Ghostbusters. That was a good surprise thing they did. I can't agree. I can't agree. What episode was it where I wore the smock and shirt? It was. Chat, it was new, right? Do you ever feel yeah, sometimes 
like um, we watch the nuke video you know like goes some XQC channels LX, on youtube LX, grow LX, right LX, 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 really LX, fast in, in like yeah. subscribers right and if the, if the, some of the videos were released now they would do way better than they did before even better than, than their current videos sometimes i kind of feel like that dude right like they could take off more because on youtube you know the more traction you have, the more traction you get. It's, it's almost like exponential, right? That was a good video though.